Does Akusha Collectibles sell fake Morgan dollars? Hey guys, this is Drew with Akusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about an instance that we had on eBay where someone tried to take advantage of our goodwill and we ended up stopping it. And it's just going to be some advice for coin dealers out there that when someone comes to take money from you, take advantage of you, possibly steal from you, what should you do? Let's get this video started. So over a year ago, we spoke with KM Coins from Coin Investment Pros, and he talked about an issue that he had on Facebook. And what had happened on Facebook was we ended up buying and selling from a collector on there for a long time. And what this collector, which we didn't know at the time, did was he messaged all the coin dealers that he was working with over the past six months, the year before that, and he was offering coins at an unbelievable steal. And so... I think what Kyle said is that he was able to steal a few thousand dollars in one night from a lot of dealers, and he never shipped out the coins. And what he actually did was he offered the same group of coins to every single dealer, and they would all pay for the same group of coins. And so say the lot was worth 2000 and that's what he wanted, and the whole lot really, if you were to go sell at retail, it's about 3000 So he would go to the first dealer get 2000 second dealer get 2000 third dealer get 2000 and then he would never ship the coins, and he would block everybody instantly. And so Kyle found his information, gave him a call, and he said, hey, bro, my Facebook got hacked, and that's the reason why you got money stolen from you. And so Kyle said, hey, no problem. I'm going to open up a police report, and I'm going to have the police come out to your house and just do a routine check and see what happens with everything that goes on. And what had happened was the kid actually ended up stealing money from all the coin dealers. Nobody hacked his Facebook account, and he ended up returning the money back to KM Coins. As for the other dealers, I don't really know. I hope this collector did the right thing. We took a similar approach to something that happened on eBay recently. So we sold six Morgan dollars about two weeks ago, and we shipped them all out together. And so when the collector got them in hand, he... We don't have returns on eBay because we know what we're selling. We take good photos. And there's certain instances where you can make a return even if we don't allow returns. And that's a money-back guarantee by eBay if you don't get the right item. And so what this collector did or this person did was he took a picture of the group in a stack and he said, hey, all these Morgan dollars are fake and I'm going to return them to you tomorrow. And so... This is a lot of red flags for us because we check the coins. We know what Morgan dollars look like. We know what ones that are natural and one that ones that are fake look like. We also weigh the coins when we get them, and we buy them from credible sources. And we've been doing coin collecting and coin dealing for over three years. And so what this person planned to do, which I've seen many times with other dealers, is he said, hey, these aren't the coins that I ordered, which they were the exact coins he ordered, and they're fake. And so what he would do was he would buy 2 or $3 steel Morgan dollars off of Etsy. He'd put them back in the package and he'd ship them back to us. And what happens when we open them? When we open them, we have no evidence against him and we have a group of fake Morgan dollars in our hands. So I took action. People have been taking advantage of dealers and I had enough. And so I wrote something and I gave him a call and this is what I said. These have all been certified by our professional team via Sigma and Diagnostics. We do not accept any returns on our items. Once they are purchased, they are yours. We have been buying and selling coins professionally for over three years. Any attempt to return incorrect or fakes on your end will result in a police report filed in your name and address, as well as a visit from the sheriff's office for theft. We will pursue all avenues of the law. God bless, Drew the Kusha Collectibles. So, we knew they weren't fake, and we also, you know, hey, bro, if you think they're fake, send the coins we gave you back, and we will gladly accept them. If you send anything else other than fake back, we will not accept them. We will pursue all avenues of the law. This is theft. So, what happened? Did he return the coins? Did he want his money back? Absolutely not. He canceled the return. And so sometimes the best thing to do 
when someone is coming after your business, is taking money from you, is not doing the right thing, is to be tough, be hard, be willing to do things to make sure they don't do it to anybody else. We want people out there that may be being taken advantage of for providing great coins to the hobby, like other dealers and us, to not have to go through things like this. If someone is going to take something from you or your business, pursue all avenues of the law. And so that's the big overarching message today. And uh, we hope you guys learned a lot from it. So guys, if you want to support us, support us in bringing great coins to you, support us in what we feel is something that is enjoyable to do most of the time, please visit our website at kushacollectibles.com. It's free to go and check out everything that we have for sale. Really nice, spectacular coins if you're collecting anything in the numismatic hobby. We're going to be at the Tyler Show this weekend coming up. Um, and so we hope to see you guys there. We're going to be set up the whole time. Just wanting to talk to collectors, hang out with you guys, and possibly buy and sell a few coins. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're coming out with videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part. And we'll see you guys in the next video.